Hi! You like nature, don't you? What if I told you that places like these will soon be infested with critters you've never seen before? These little guys will infect every single aspect of life and hurt everyone in the process. Now, if you just give me 210 seconds of your life, I will explain to you everything you need to know about biological invasions. Come on, let's go! According to dictionary.com, biological, or the root word is biology, means the living organisms of a region. Invasion means entrance as if to take possession of or overrun. So pretty much this means that animals in this one environment find their way to this brand new environment that they've never been to before, and in their struggle to survive, harm the environment. So here's how this issue affects us today. Every single world issue has political, social, environmental, and economic implications. I only have this much time, so I can't really list all of them, but socially, people are getting very, very sick. West Nile is a great example of biological invasion, because it started in Uganda and spread to the Americas. This disease caused the death of many, many individuals when it first outbroke. Environmentally, Dutch elm disease kills trees all over North America. Originally from the Himalayas, it traveled to the Americas on a wooden crate made of infected elm wood. Dutch elm disease takes an elm tree, infects it, and kills it soon after it being infected. In 2012 alone, Manitoba lost 5,600 elm trees. This affects forest ecosystems greatly by destroying entire species of trees. But politically, the Capri beetle causes geopolitical tension between nations. If this beetle was released into America, it would decimate all wheat products available at market. Because of this, America is cutting out trade with some of the largest wheat exporters in the world. This causes hostility between nations because the exporters, who have all the wheat, trying to sell their wheat, and all oh, America's all like, no, I don't want your wheat! <laughs> Economically, bioinvasion destroys possible places of revenue. Tourism is a great example of this, but a greater example is sea lamprey in the Great Lakes. Millions of dollars are spent annually from America and Canada to eradicate the sea lamprey. If left untouched, it will destroy the entire national landmark, which will in turn affect the amount of money they can get from tourism. There are two major causes to bioinvasion. One major cause is globalization, and that's the interconnectedness of our world. And since world trade is becoming more and more natural, native species are finding their way into non-native environments. The Capri beetle and sea lamprey are two great examples of this. Another major cause of this are our own governments. Cane toads in Australia are wreaking havoc over all the native life. After the Australian government released it to solve a problem, it caused an even bigger one. This is how bioinvasion is going to affect you. People will be infected by new diseases that they're not used to being infected to. Taxes will rise because the government will need help eradicating these species that have entered their countries. And national landmarks and tourist attractions will be decimated because of the new species. Am I right, Great Lakes? There are three easy solutions anyone can do to help solve this problem. The first one is be aware. Gain knowledge on the issue. And since you're already watching this video, you've already taken that step. The second one is buy local. Make an effort to not support globalization, because we all know what that does. And I know this is kind of impossible, but try to reduce. And the third one is start a riot. Send a letter to your municipal, provincial, and federal representatives, because a wise teacher once told me that one letter represents the ideas of a thousand people. And time.